So I'm on to a St. Patrick's Day project using freeze and fuse, which is one of my favorite techniques. And I purchased some molds. These are uh, silicon fondant molds for icing cakes and cupcakes. I did not expect them to be so fine, I guess would be the word. I knew it would be small, but when you're looking at things like the R and the I, the S, I, I really don't think that that's going to work. I think it's going to fall apart when it comes out of the freezer. I also wanted these beautiful shamrocks. You have both a nice solid shamrock and then just the outline, and I thought that would be a nice contrast, but on a particular tray or dish to have both of them, but I don't think that's going to work. So when you're buying molds, be very, very careful about looking at the specific measurement details and expect, because it's not really meant for glass, that some of the pieces you won't be able to use. I'm going to try anyway, but I don't think you'll be, I'll be able to use those. I do plan to experiment with these because I really like the idea of having just the outline of the shamrock. I think that looks really cool. And so what I might try is instead of using water, I might try using either, or I might try both, using a glass tack as the liquid and hairspray. Both of those things will freeze and both of them would adhere the powder together? I'm just not sure how well. So that's my next challenge. See if I can make those shamrocks, because these will be pretty easy, but I want those. Again, because I always buy the sample kit, <clears throat> and I usually don't buy powder by itself, I want Kelly Green Opal. I don't have it. I have Jade Green, and I have Spring Green. So I'm going to give those two a try and see what comes closest to Shamrock. In the transparent powder, I do actually have Kelly Green, but I also have Light Aventurine Green, which might be beautiful. My first test is going to be these Shamrocks, one using glass tack and one using hairspray. For those, I'm going to use the Kelly Green Transparent. The other ones that I'm testing for color, not technique, will be these, and those I will just use water because I know that works. And I'll try all the different colors on these. Okay, these are ready to go into the freezer. It's a test of color. And I tried Spring, Kelly, Aventurine, and Jade. And to see whether or not I can get these tiny, fine ones done by using either glass tack or hairspray. I brought the tray down into the kitchen to see if I could unmold them. And one of those little, tiny, delicate shamrocks actually worked. That is the one with the hairspray. One of them worked, the other one didn't. With the glass tack, both of them completely broke apart. There wasn't even a chance that they were going to work. But the one with the hairspray, I've got one unmolded. Hmm. But if you look closely, as it's starting to thaw, it's losing its shape where the ones I did just with water, of course these are much bigger, are just fine. So I'm thinking that I'm just not going to get those as much as I wanted to. I'm trying to fill out the kiln and I'm going to use some big seaweed pieces and I'm going to go two-tone. So I've got Kelly Green in there and I'm going to put Adventurine Green over top of it. And I found a better technique 
with my little massage ball here than I was using the other day. And it actually works a little better. So I'm gonna put it in, tap, 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 tap. And then you turn the ball on. And instead of holding it, you just put it down and rest the mold on it and move it around. And it works a lot better. And it's a lot easier to use because then you still have two hands for manipulating the mold. Where before, it was a little bit trickier and didn't do as well. And this is going to be for my mirror frame. I need a bunch more seaweed. Uh, and then I have a lot of pieces. I have a lot of pieces for this one. This I love, my seahorse. I think that came out so nice. I've noticed though that it's a lot of browns and greens. So I need a little bit more seaweed. And then I need to pop in a few more blues. So the plan is to just make a few more of these to make sure I fill both shelves on the kiln before I fire it. And here are the three pieces of variegated seaweed ready to go into the freezer so I can get that kiln loaded and started. These are darling. I can't wait to make something out of them. The one that I used hairspray, it unmolded but then turned into a mush. And let's take a look at the seaweed. Oh, that turned out nicely as well. You don't really see the variegation as much as you did when it first went in, but that piece came out great. So I think my little massage ball works out really well with that one. You can see the variegation beautifully. It works really well with the new technique of sitting it on the table and then resting the pieces on top of it. Very few air bubbles, really nice variegation on that seaweed. So next, figure out what I'm gonna do with these shamrocks. The ones that I let dry for too long came apart. There is sort of a sweet spot with re freeze and fuse. You cannot let it sit for too long before you fire it. Otherwise it starts to come apart. So I wanna finish this, up this project today on St. Hattie's Day. These are little pins. And so I bought these little pin bars, and I'm just going to use uh, E6000, glue the pin bar on the back, and be done with it, and ready to wear it at the parade this weekend. And unfortunately, I think these are a little big, nope, they are absolutely perfect. So I will just glue that on the back, and they will be done and ready to wear.